everybody, it's Jeff back with another installment of the top toner auctions to watch. Uh, now these are live auctions and I've sifted through really all the current auctions and pulled off what I believe are the most interesting and nice, nicely toned coins uh, that you could still bid on. And I also provide current estimates and where I think these coins could sell. And this week it is a quite a wide range of prices, anywhere from about $500 coin to a, a $60,000 coin. Um, and none are more interesting than this first auction. Uh, this will be extremely curious to see how it ends, uh, mainly because this particular coin holds the record for the highest sale of any Franklin half dollar by at least double, if not triple. As you can see, this exact coin sold back in September 2018 at Legend Auctions uh, for $129,250. Now, all of these coins are, are currently listed at Legends, and the sale is May 26th and May 27th. So if you're watching this before then, uh, you could still bid live. Uh, and once the sale ends, I'll highlight where these ended up selling for. Um, but this coin, this is a perfect example of uh, um, emotions of two bidders getting out of hand, in my opinion. Uh, selling for 10x the price guide value of 13000 uh, back in a market that really was kind of stagnant. Uh, it's just outlandish. And this exact coin actually was listed on Larry Shapiro's uh, website, Larry Shapiro Rare Coins, for about four weeks for $118,000. So essentially, they knew they were going to take a loss in this coin. Listed for one eighteen, did not sell at that price. So he sent it to Legend to be in the auction that's happening right now. And Legend has an opening bid of 50000 which would be fifty eight with buyer's premium. And you could see they have a posted estimate, their estimate of 60 to 75 grand. I'll be curious if this one actually sells. Um, the, the only comp, a reasonable comp, there was a 58D. Now, the one uh, that's listed here is 58 Philly, but back in December of 2020, again at Legends, a 58D that had spectacular toning on the obverse and reverse uh, sold for 33,000 versus a a PCGS price guide on those of about six grand, which is about seven times value. Um, but I think this coin listed here is, is probably worth at most 30 to 50 grand. And even that would take a, a willing bidder here. So very interesting. Uh, I, I personally don't think it's going to sell, um, but we'll see. Look, jump into the next auction, <laughs> way, way more affordable. Uh, in, in a similar year, 58D, again, these mint sets produce these spectacular toning. And uh, you tend to see, uh, especially on the 58 Denver, uh, the Washington quarters, and even the Franklin has, but especially the Washington quarters, these really nice rainbow-like colors, the reds to the yellows to the greens to a little bit of, of violet there. This one is, is no exception. Very nice obverse. The reverse is, is okay. Um, but as you can see, CAC approved 67 plus. This particular coin is no posted sale in, in previous history, but uh, these kinds uh, of toned uh, 58 Ds have sold anywhere from 400 bucks to 1400. So a wide range, and it's clearly dependent on the quality of Tony. And this would rank on the higher end of things. Uh, there was a, a CAC approved 67 plus that sold in July of 20 that had a similar quality of Tony that. Uh, final priced at $12.99. So I, I could see this coin getting close to that, as you can see, as a current bid of uh, just $650 with a buyer's premium of $764, but there's still two weeks left. Uh, so I could easily see this getting to the high end of $1,000, if not a little more. So we'll see. The next auction. Uh, this, man, too bad it doesn't have an S and a VDB on the back, um, but it's a very nice 1909 Philly. <clears throat> as you can see, 67 red brown and clearly the obverse is beautiful uh, bold luster clear uh, mint red uh, but the reverse is where all the fun's at with that nicely toned uh, blend of colors there and, and a unique pattern too um, just two are in the grade with none finer and actually the other one uh, sold back in 2019 on great collections also at a cac sticker uh, for $1,000 or 1027 And again, that market was not nearly as good as this one. So I can absolutely see this coin getting up to that high end of the estimate of 1500 bucks. Very nice coin uh, for a type set or even uh, a wheat set. 
and then gaining a ton of popularity. I've been watching these three cent silvers and they've been blowing the estimates out of the water, blowing the previous sales out of the water. Uh, seems like there's at least a handful, if not more, very serious three cent silver collectors that have been bidding heavy on these tone uh, versions really over the last three or four months. And this one, unfortunately, doesn't have a true view, uh, but this exact coin actually sold back in 2017 at Heritage for $2,200. Uh, and that's right in line with the most recent comps. A similar toned uh, quality Proof 65 sold for $2,100 back in, in 2020. And then really an ugly toned version uh, sold this year, but it had an original holder. So maybe people believe that it was undergraded. I don't know, sold for 2640. As you can see, the price guy value 2600. I can definitely see this uh, exceeding that personally. I think the legend estimates of two grand to 2500 are very conservative. My best guess is this one will probably finish closer to three to 3500 to four grand uh, just because of quality of those blues. The blue just sells really well, especially on, on both sides. And whoever buys this coin absolutely needs to get it re-slabbed uh, with the true view. And then the final auction, uh, a very unique but common date grade uh, Merc dime here. You can see a 67 full band. There's 893 in the grade with 155 finer. This is a great one for a, a tone type set. Very, very unique Tony. Obviously, it's dark, uh, but I'm sure if you get that under a, a nice light, those colors will just boom out at you it's already bid at 400 with a 470 at buyer's premium uh, an estimate of 650 to 850 and i was looking for a, a reasonable comp and, and really the blast whites sell for anywhere from 100 to 200 bucks uh, and even the average toners sell for maybe just 200 to 250 there was a very very nicely toned uh with a cac sticker uh, same year, same grade that sold for $2,091 back in 2020 on great collections. I thought that was a nicer tone than this one. This is a unique tone, in my opinion. This is uh, taste specific. I don't think everybody's going to like this, uh, but those who do are probably willing to pay up a little bit on the price. So I, I could see this probably getting to about 1000 to 1200 in my opinion. Um, so I think their estimates could be a bit conservative. That's all I have today. Thanks for watching. Take care.